द वे टू अ मैंस हार्ट इज थ्रू डिलीशियस फूड द वे टू अ टीम्स प्रोडक्टिविटी इज थ्रू ऑटोमेशन एंड द वे टू ए जी आई इट्स थ्रू एजेंट्स एंड इफ यू आर बिल्डिंग द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंटेलिजेंट सिस्टम्स एजेंट इजेंट जस्ट अ स्टेप फॉरवर्ड इट्स योर फाउंडेशन फॉरगेट सेंडिंग सेंसिटिव डेटा टू डिस्टेंट सर्वर इन द क्लाउड गैम्बलिंग विद प्राइवेसी फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस एजेंट इज अ लोकल फर्स्ट मल्टी एजेंट डेस्क टॉप पावर हाउस दैट रन एंटायरली ऑन योर मशीन गिविंग यू फुल कंट्रोल टोटल प्राइवेसी एंड द रॉ केपेबिलिटी टू ऑर्केस्ट्रेट एंड ए आई वर्क फोर्स दैट वर्क फॉर यू एंड नॉट फॉर सम रिमोट ए पी आई दिस इज फहाद मिर्जा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू द चैनल प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड कंसिडर बिकमिंग अ मेम्बर ऑफ द चैनल एज दैट सपोर्ट्स अ लॉट एंड हेल्प्स अ लॉट आई हैव बिन कवरिंग दिस एजेंट प्रोजेक्ट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड आई बिलीव दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ द सेलेक्ट फ्यू विच मेक्स अ कट टू द एक्चुअल ऑटोनमस एजेंटिक सॉफ्टवेयर एज ए सेट एजेंट इज अ लोकल फर्स्ट software and in this video i am going to show you step by step as how to create it locally very very easily so let's get started this is my ubuntu system and i have one gpu card which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram the good thing about agent is that you can easily run it on cpu but the thing is and the fair point and harsh reality maybe is that for any real world productive task you would need gpu okay so first up let me create a virtual environment with conda let's wait for it to get created and if you're looking to rent a gpu or cpu or vm on very good prices you can find the link to mast compute with a discount coupon of 50% for range of gpus in the videos description okay let's go back our virtual environment is created next up let's git clone the repo of agent which i just showed you on the screen and i'm also going to drop the link to it in videos description it's a very lightweight repo now there are a couple of prerequisites which you need to have before you proceed further one is node version so make sure you have a recent version of node and you should have npm installed if you don't know how to get them installed just search my channel and i have done a very easy to follow video last but not least prerequisite you need to have is that docker and again go with any recent docker version if you don't know how to get it installed just search my channel you should be able to find a very easy to understand video now the first step in terms of installing this agent locally is to go and spin up the backend server so just cd to the server directory within the local repo now if you ls into this directory you will see that there are a few files related to the project plus you should be able to find an environment file which you can check with ls la and there you go you can see that there is dot env dot example just simply rename it to dot env let me also sorry let me just open it in the vs code to show you how it looks like so primarily what this backend is doing it is starting a postgres database in a container plus agent api server so let's go back and let's run this with the docker compose from the server directory and first time when you run it it is going to download it and it is going to spin it up so let's wait should not take too long and everything is now running here as you can see everything is healthy you can also check it with docker ps and there are various other commands which you can run in order to check it out now at this point in time what has happened so far is that everything is running locally the postgres sql container which has just saw it holds the database and we also have the agent api and it so everything is local by design which ensures your privacy next up just let's go one step back and again if you do lsla you will find various files uh, the file which i want to show you is this dot env dot development if you go back to your vs code window and then 
if you just check that dot env dot development file and this is what it looks like you can see that we are specifying the proxy url to the local which primarily tells the front end to use the local backend if you replace it with uh, the, their cloud services you can you will be redirected to the cloud so that is all you needed to do let's go back and now let me install this so from the root of the repo not from the server just run this npm install and it is going to install all the packages let's wait and all the packages are now installed you can ignore the warnings for now now in order to start it on your local machine just run this npm run dev and it is preparing the packages and as soon as it prepared it it is also launching it automatically which is always a good idea and there you go so agent is running on your local system without a hitch and you can just simply go sign it up or just sign in with your local stuff and even your sign in information everything remains local so it doesn't really sign up to the cloud version so let me sign it up with my uh, email address and password and once you have signed in you can enable screen recording access local software whatever you want to grant or you can even skip this part and then you can just click next next and first time it just takes a minute to just install everything and then it becomes ready and there you go the agent client is running locally now the first step you would need to do is to just click on this cog icon at the top right I have done uh, this explanation by the way in heaps of videos here where I have tested iGent very very in depth on various use cases so just search with iGent but I'm just very quickly going to show you how to set up the model so once you click on this cog icon on the here you can simply go on the model side and then from there you can go with any model like Gemini, OpenAI, Anthropic when and interestingly enough you can also set up olama model so olama is already selected here vllm sglang the, there are heaps of options this is a you know endpoint which is uh, by default it just goes with the olama defaults at port 11434 and then you can just give uh, any olama model here and that's it you can also check it by clicking on verify icon Another cool thing about iGent is that you can have MCP2, MCP and tools like you can install a lot of tools there so that you would be able to access external APIs, external tooling like, you know, Google search or any other MCP server. MCP is just a standardized way of accessing external APIs. Um, you don't have to worry about the implementation. You just have to do the call there. And I have done a full tutorial on MCP if you're interested on the channel. Now, I have Olama running on my local system and I'm going to use this GPT OSS for this. So I already have set it, but I will just show you again how to get it set. So I'm just going to go into the models again and you can see that um, there is a model endpoint which you can specify in case of Olama. Just put this value here if it is running, of course, here and then GPT OSS 20 billion or whatever your model is click on verify it is going to verify your local there you go so you're on self-host mode just close it and then from there just click on this x to get out of here so for instance when i ask it to devise me a plan to lose 5 kg weight in a month you see that it has split the tasks and then it is going to call different agents to get the work underway it could be search agent or developer agent or any other agent of our choice and once it has designed the task you can simply just start the tasks and it is going to perform them either parallel or sequential whatever makes sense you don't have to worry about it and the search engine has done its work and you can see that now document engine is processing its subtasks so this all orchestration happens behind the scene 
and there you go it has created the full plan with the um, tracking and all the daily weight measurement slots and it is step by step plus it has also saved it to my uh, local laptop which is really good so you can do a lot of things with this agent and not only you can map your drives just as i did you can also access external tools with uh, not only local model but with any open api compatible endpoint that's it let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support